Good morning creators and welcome to the UFN tutorial. This is episode 6 of the Landscape Paint Maestro series. And today we're going to talk about static meshes. How do you get your landscape material on a static mesh? With different layers as well. So some genius um, in 1.0 designed these modular rocks. And these are really cool because they use a landscape material. Uh, and these might be instants, but basically you can rotate them and the grass appears on top. And we can totally use our current material to do that, but we needed some way of masking, um, instancing our material. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, if you're new here, please watch the full series. It's linked below, um, but if you're not, let's get into it. So basically in here, we're gonna have to mask out our material attributes. So we're gonna get a uh, switch parameter, static switch parameter. So these are cool. You get to name them and they show up in your material instances. And so I'm gonna say, um, use as landscape material. We basically need to create a mask, uh, or I mean, a, sorry, a switch parameter for every single landscape layer. So, um, first one I have is beach. So we'll say, um, use beach. The next layer I think was Iceland. It was actually grass on dirt. So let me fix that. You don't have to do them in order, but I think it's good for consistency. Um, grassland, dirt. And then we'll have gravel path below that. Use gravel path. All right, so now we just need to get our paints into here. So paint, beach, paint, default. So default goes into the false. It's gonna be the default, obviously. Beach goes into true. And then we put this output into the false of the next one. We'll get paint, grassland, dirt. Put that into true. Put that into false of the next one. And you can organize this however you feel like, but just for my purposes. We'll do paint Iceland. So we have that. Then paint gravel. That'll be true. And this goes into false. And then this is going to go into false. Because if we're going to use this as a landscape material, we want the actual landscape samples. And that will put into the true value. And then we can put this into our attributes. Let's go ahead and compile that and see if I don't crash. All right, so now that that has compiled, let's try it out. Um, let's make sure that we have this set to true because uh, that's very important. That way we have it set to landscape by default. All right, so let me pull out my static mesh that we're gonna work with. And then I'm going to create my material instance. So let's find our uh, landscape. We're gonna create a material instance. I'm gonna call this MI Maestro Landscape Iceland. So I wanna do the Iceland variant. All right, so we don't want to use this as a landscape material. Once we toggle that off, you'll see the use um, toggles. So let's say use Iceland. It'll take away the other ones because that's just how the um, layering goes. We just have to turn on one of these and then now this should be set for Iceland. So if I go into the static mesh component and change the material to MI Maestro Landscape Iceland, say okay. Boom. 
now we have my material on this. And so now, now you can get some really nice meshing. This is good for caves um, or just more detail in your terrain. Using the exact same material, so you can just use uh, some instances to edit things nicely. But now you can decorate your map with nice material instances. Um, oh, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to duplicate this. I was wondering why I didn't have this parent selected. And you'll notice, um, as you'd expect, all of the same logic, the height lerping, the blending, all of it still applies to this mesh. Let's make another material instance just for the sake of it. Um, so you can either duplicate this or just create it directly from your, um, your parents. I'll call this MI Maestro Landscape Beach. All right, make sure to turn off the landscape material and then use beach. Go ahead and duplicate this. I change this to the beach one and look at that works exactly as I expect uh, real quick I want to point out that foliage does not appear on static meshes so that's something you have to edit yourself also I want to point out that um, if you have any landscape cords like you have here um, it's going to get the texture UVs of your mesh and that's, those are going to look really stretched. So I would actually um, recommend changing this to world position, masking the uh, XY, and then divide that by a scale. So I'm going to put that into a named parameter called um, new grounds tiling and so we'll use that for all of these attributes now this way it's not going to tile weirdly on static meshes um, make sure you adjust this so it looks good on your um, landscapes but it's pretty simple. Paste it in, travel, um, and then I'm gonna have a parameter for this division, so. So I'll call this tiles or tile size. So the default to like 128. Save that and I'll be back. All right, so that was incredibly small tiling. So let me uh, bump this up to like 10 times more. That's maybe a little bit too big. Um, I'm not gonna be too picky for this tutorial though, so. That's probably fine. Um, but now you'll see on the mesh itself that since it's using world position, it's going to mesh very well together. It's also gonna mesh very well with other copies of this because these are world aligned, they're gonna match up very well. Seamlessly actually. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. Um, there might be more episodes in this series. So if there's anything you're interested in, please let me know down below. Um, but otherwise, have a good day and good luck creating.